Hi everybody, this is Ashley L. Jones, and I'm here at Hearth and Soul here in Tallahassee, Florida to answer your top 10 questions about cast iron cooking. I've heard that cooking on cast iron is better for your health than using other cookware. Is that true? Yes, it is. All cookware has the potential to leach chemicals or metals into your food during the cooking process. Cast iron leaches small amounts of iron into your food, and that's a good thing because we all have a dietary requirement of iron. I see chefs using cast iron all the time on cooking shows. Why do they love cast iron so much? Well, first thing, it's versatility. You can take it from the stovetop to the oven and vice versa, and most cookware you can't do that. Uh, you can also bake, roast, roll, just about anything in cast iron. In my book, I cover everything from apps to dessert. So just about anything you wanna make, you can make it in cast iron. Cooking on cast iron seems overwhelming to me. Is it just for chefs? There's a lot of information out there about cast iron, which is why I wrote a book on it because I had trouble figuring out what was true and what was not. So there is a lot of confusion, but the good thing is it's really simple to cook on cast iron cookware. You just kind of have to know a couple things about it. So it is not just for chefs, it's definitely for the home cook and it has been for hundreds of years. Remember, America was settled on cast iron cookware. In the past, people cooked with cast iron pots and pans over an open fire. Can modern day cast iron handle the heat? Good question. Some of the modern cast iron pieces have been thinned, and so they're not as thick and heavy as some of the older kinds. You probably want to avoid those thinner pieces of cast iron. The enamelware is really nice on the stove, but you wouldn't want to put that on a fire either. So stick with your nice, heavy cast iron pots and pans, and you'll be good to go. What should I buy to get started? Okay, good question. First, you need a pan. Uh, a 10 inch, 12 inch pan is probably a good place to get started. And you can get those at most retail stores for as low as $25. You're also gonna want probably a good bristle cleaning brush. Uh, these come from Lodge, but you can find different versions in different retail stores. And that just helps you clean your pan. Cast iron gets extremely hot though. So you want to make sure you've got a really good uh, hot handle holder or pot holder. These are made of silicone. Uh, you can use your metal utensils and your wooden utensils and your silicone utensils in your cast iron, uh, your bare cast iron, but you don't want to use your metal and your enamelware. Uh, what you want to avoid is the really cheap plastic because that can actually melt on the hot cast iron. But that's, that's about it to get you started. How should I clean my pan? So cast iron is not as difficult as people think and cleaning a cast iron pan is, is about the same as cleaning any other type of pan. Yes, you can use water and you can even use a mild dish detergent on it. Uh, you might wanna do a light seasoning afterward depending on the quality of your seasoning to start with. Um, but you don't wanna stick it in the dishwasher or that will take off that good seasoning. What is seasoning? Okay, perfect question. So seasoning is what we call this nice, non-stick coating. It's a natural non-stick coating, not chemical. And it's created when the oil that you put on the pan is heated and the fats in the oil create a polymer coating. And uh, that's due to chemical bonding that happens within the fat and it happens to the cast iron. So you're actually creating a polymer layer that is partly bonded to that cast iron. So there's some science behind it, uh, but you are creating a nice non-stick coating and it's that coating that we call seasoning. And the process to create that is also what we call seasoning. Of course, how do I season my pan? So I differentiate a light seasoning and a deeper seasoning in the oven. And the light seasoning is really simple and it's probably what you're gonna wanna do on a daily basis. So anytime you clean your pan, you put water on your pan, you can take it, put it on a burner, add a little bit of oil, use some tongs and paper towels, rub that oil into the pan and let it heat up. You only want a little bit of oil. You wanna remove any excess or it gets sticky and you want to avoid heating it up to its smoke point. If it starts to smoke, you've gone too far and you don't wanna breathe that in the air. So just a little bit of oil, enough heat to get it going and then wipe off the residue and you've seasoned your pan. All right, what kind of oil should I use to season my pan? 
A lot of people are gonna answer this in different ways, but science has shown that flaxseed oil is gonna create the hardest uh, polymer layer, that harder seasoning. So flaxseed oil is usually the one preferred by chefs. Um, I suggest using whatever you have uh, because any oil is, is going to do the trick. Is it okay to cook chili or other acidic tomato-based dishes in cast iron? Actually it is. Uh, a regular bare cast iron Dutch oven is a great option for cooking anything from vegetables to your chili and your other soups. Uh, if it is acidic, then, and you cook it for a long time, it can start to eat away a little bit at that seasoning. Uh, so if that happens, you can simply do a, se a re-season your pan or your Dutch oven on the stove, or you can put it in the oven for a little bit to re-season it, and it's okay. So if you're taking care of it, you can use your bare cast iron for that. If you don't wanna go through the process of re-seasoning or you're gonna be cooking for a long time, check out an enamel Dutch oven, uh, which is really nice. It's enameled on the outside and on the inside, and you don't have to worry about seasoning that. Thanks for checking out these top 10 questions about cast iron cooking. I'm sure you have more, so check out my book, Modern Cast Iron, available everywhere books are sold.